Hey guys, it's me, the CNL Simmer, and welcome back to my channel. If you are a regular, I welcome you back. If you are new, I welcome you and hope that you find something to your liking here and you'll stay a while and come back and maybe even hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. We are doing a brand new 100 baby challenge. If you missed the last episode, let me just catch you up a little bit. And you have reached level two of thinking. You need to go fishing. You've been fishing all day. You have caught one fish. It is level two communication. You are ready to age up. You are ready to age up. Mama's getting her groove on today. Woohoo. No tracker baby. Big pregnancy test. We are pregnant. Oh, she's got three level three thinking. Awesome. You know what that means. Time for birthday. I'll blow up candles for Quinn. All right, Quinn's traits. Sleuth, child of fall, hates the outdoors, green feed. Yeah, you can be an honor student. Here is Quinn and her favorite color is gray. I'll blow up candles for Rise. Rise is an art lover, hates the outdoors, child of the ocean, uncreative. Let's have you do void critter. This is Rise, his favorite color is purple. I'll blow up candles for Stuart. Hates the outdoors, all three of them. Movie buff, eat movie lover, and tattletale. Do rambunctious scamp. Here is Stuart. His favorite color is black. Friday night. Uh, call up your boyfriend, Deontay. Let's ask him on a date. We'll end that date. Yes. And we will ask him on another date. All right. That's her milestone complete and first part of her aspiration is complete. Oh no, we're all getting phone calls because Cadence has died. She died laughing. Oh, that is a sad picture. Hey Bernard, let me give you an enchanting introduction. First kiss. She's <laughs> going into labor. Have a baby. At the hospital. We bring Alex. I am in labor. Okay, luck. These men who just leave me. This is a baby girl. Gotten with tea. Tasha, would you Goodwin? And T. You. A boy starting with a U. Okay, we are skipping you. I'm going to V. Vincente. Would you Goodwin? You are an A student. You are an A student. That's what I was waiting for. Ophelia. Go ahead and make a wish. She needs a job. Nothing's really calling out to me, so maybe I'll just make her a spa specialist. It's fine. You come make a wish. Then you will find a job. Oh yeah, no technology, no arts. He likes fishing. Is fishing a career? No. Yeah, let's make him a slacker. He can get paid for doing nothing. And then you can have Ophelia and Porter. Rides the mate. Met Cash. Can I find somebody that's married? Maybe I'll invite Carter over. Convinced to leave spouse. I want you to invite Cash over. Battle void critters with Cash. Age up. This is Tasha. Tasha will be carefree, intelligent, and spoiled. Vincente is always sleepy, adorable, and slow to warm up. Here is Tasha's outfits. And Vince's outfits. You want to get to know Nolan Dow. I don't think that's a good idea. Don't want you comparing notes. His hands. We got him. We got him. Oh, no, we don't got him. Oh, my. it's all gone wrong. Why do people call at 2 in the morning? Who is important? Kristen Bauer. Alicia and Bailey's father has died by drowning. All right, you, I want to go to the park and go across monkey bars okay now he just needs to get the motor skill go to the festival of youth i mean we got eight that's pretty darn good you're ready to be aged up can do anything you want all right you are all set help blow out candles for tasha tasha is evil child of the fall stoic artisan let's make you mental help blow out candles for vincente Vincente hates the outdoors. He's a movie buff. 
Paddle tail and mean. You want to be a super sibling. Here are Tasha's outfits and her favorite color is black. Vincente's color is gray and these are his outfits. All right, we are not sad anymore. We are flirty. Let's bring Bernard. Bernard, darling. Let's try for a baby. Fireworks. Go take a pregnancy test. Alrighty. Baby time. He's just crying. Great shame. He's an elder. Could I get him to leave his wife? Maybe. Give him a kiss. Give him a woohoo. Convinced to leave spouse. That's what I'm looking for. Ask to just be friends. Bye. Oh. Start over. Finish your project. There are two mean kids in this house. They will break it if you don't finish it. Aw, he gave up. Good job. She did it. Now that we're all caught up, let's go on to this week's episode. All right, we are back with 100 Baby Challenge. We're up to 47, probably 48 and 49 on the way. So we're about ready to finish up Generation 2. The kids are all at school, all studying hard. Mom is in her second trimester. Let's do a supercell and a tend garden. Just because she doesn't have anything else she needs to do. We'll go ahead and have her cook a gourmet meal, spinach frittata, and a caprese salad. Sure, I can talk to Natalie. I'm going to have her do a little bit of upgrading. We should bring over cash. Sure. It's our home. Oh, they're a mess. Go to bed. Go to bed. You need fun. So why don't you go, yeah, play on the thing. Yep, play pirate. You are fine. Oh, god dang it. Do your homework. Do logic homework. And you can do your homework. Mom's just going to continue upgrading as long as she can. I think while mom's upgrading the kitchen, I'm going to upgrade the bedroom. That's a kind of an uncomfortable bed. They have plenty of money. There's no excuse for that. I'm going to get her a Princess Cordelia bed. All right, everybody got new beds other than the toddlers. And I don't care because they're fine to sleep all day if they want. But we all got upgraded. You need to complete a school project. Uh, you did on Monday. You have to do your homework five times. Do you want to tell a joke to a sibling? You need to battle one more void critter. Ooh, who's, a, who's a, around that can do that? Vincente. He's sleeping. Good. He's sleeping. She needs to get up, go to the bathroom, get some food. You need to trade void critters 20 times. We will work on that over the weekend. If she has homework on Thursday and on Friday, Friday, we ought to be able to finish this. No problem. Oh, no. We got a phone call. Alex Goodwin has died. My last baby daddy that I just had, he died by overheating. Well, he's an idiot. Tasha and Vincente will be quite sad. I would like for you to get up and go take a shower and then get some food. And then, I don't know, do something fun. Uh, you're supposed to be working on that. Because you have the only one that hasn't done one. You are fine and dandy. You can go ahead and play pirate. You're fine and dandy. You want to play chess. Play with mom. You need food. And I thought you were telling jokes to all of your siblings at one point. But nope, you didn't. Joke about gross food. You don't have time for another game of chess with mom. So that's fine. We'll let that go. Rise. You working on your project? Mom, would you like to come help Rise with this project, please? This was Monday's project. It is now Wednesday. It's long overdue. Kids will be all heading to school. Rise will join them as soon as he's done with his project. There he is done. And then he will go to school. Everybody studies hard. Mom, what are you up to? I know you're sad. All right, you're almost in your third trimester and you're getting something to eat. Fair enough. All right, let's see if the sink is fully upgraded. Continue upgrading that. And then some sturdy faucets. I'm going to get them a better TV. 
That has a comfort of one. Let's get rid of that and let's grab... I'm gonna get rid of the table and the chairs. Get better ones. It's a bit too fancy for them. Let's go with something a little bit different. No, I don't want to go on a date. All right, you need a little fun. You need a little nap. Yep. You need some food. Need food. You do your homework. Oh, yeah. Eric Lewis has died of old age. That's fine. At least he wasn't stupid. He's taking a nap. Are you tired? Not anymore. Finish drawing. Okay, then I want you to do your homework. Is that the thing you have to do? That will do on the weekend. Now you're going to do your homework. You're going to do motor skill homework. You're going to do whatever you want homework. Mom is napping. Good. Gosh, I'm going to have you come play with Quinn. Rise homework is complete. Who do you know child-wise that isn't family? You know Cash. Let's invite Cash to hang out and we'll trade cards with him. Give him a high five. How do I trade cards with you? Just says, trade void critter. What if I give you a void critter? <laughs> Can I give you a gift? Let me give you Campos. All right, now I know you have one. Can we trade? Ask to trade void critter. There we go. I will trade Medusa. I want to try it again. Can I do it again? Apologize. Okay, but I don't know what I did. Uh, I guess I'll just send you home. Go to the bathroom, get some food, and then go to bed. She's doing extra credit. God, I love her. Thing. You're getting food and then going to bed. You are going to come tell Stuart a joke. A joke about weird animals. And then do that. I think he canceled it out. You can't tell someone a joke if they're up here. There you go. Try it again. Okay, so he doesn't like your jokes. It's fine. Which one of your siblings are you best friends with? Dude is 32. Win 44. Prize. No. No. Patasha. Yeah, it's Quinn. Quinn is sleeping. It's fine. You know what? How about you go to the bathroom, get some food, and go to sleep? What's mom doing? Mom is fine. She's a little sad. Let's do that a hundred times. Why are you sleeping in the tent? Okay. Oh, Cash. Honey, um, you should go home. Your parents are going to wonder where you are. All right, Mom, go ahead and do a super sow and a pen garden and repair that. Why is everything argumentative? Just because you're sad does not mean you have to be argumentative. Let's be nice to your sister that you want to become BFFs with. Oh, wow. Their relationship just went. How are you going to become partners in crime with her? Right, maybe you do nice things. Don't yell. Apologize him. Ask him questions. He, like, talked to the hand and ran off. All right, well, they're all off to school. Mom should have babies today. That'll be fun. Right, let's get rid of this terrible mood. Right, you don't have to do that anymore. Oh, you're flirty. It goes from being super sad to super flirty. And going into labor. Let's go have a baby with Bernard. Bernard, invite to feel baby. Aw, that's nice. Go having a baby. His last name is Cardwell. Yeah, we're looking for a boy. And at this point, I'm going to go with anything with U, W, X, Y, or Z. Because we're running out of things. And these are the hard ones. Ulysses. And a girl, W, X, Y, or Z. Yusin. I mean, it's a name. Yusin Widju Codwell. And it looks like Yusin might be our heir. Uh, let's put the babies in the room they belong in. Uh, Ulysses gets a super efficient baby care. And Yusin gets fed. Hey, the grown-up kids are home. You want to do your homework one more time. So we'll do that right now i know what's wrong with the baby congratulations on the new addition to the family as one of my i assume sons or brothers i don't know which and she needs to practice an instrument for four hours and juggle a soccer ball three times hey mom you want to give her the soccer ball 
practice juggling. Uh, you want to do that again? Wow, she's getting really good at this. Well, first time she did it four times. The second time she did it 48 times. One more time. And then you can take a shower. Um, no, you're not marrying my mother. I'm sorry, she's not the marrying type. You're going to take a shower, and then you're going to practice. All right, whose homework is on the table? Probably yours. I thought you were taking a bath. Or shower, rather. You didn't. You need food. You also will need food. You're doing extra credit. These kids are such overachievers. Oh, she's upgrading the kids' bed autonomously? I mean... Yeah, you should probably check on this one. Does it have super efficient baby care? Then we'll have you cook a couple of meals. A gourmet meal of pasta primavera. And also fruit and yogurt parfait. You are angry because you don't like what you're playing. Well, it'll be all right. You have one more hour and you don't have to do it again. You're on level eight. Play pirate. Go down the slide. Play pirate. Go down the slide. Why would you go to sleep? You're not even tired. You want mom to read to you. Mom is cooking. All right. We'll let her finish cooking. And then we will open that. And we will bring out a kid's book. And we will read a little engine. That, no, not to yourself. I can't read to a child. Somehow that is borked. And it won't let me. Well. I'm going to say that if she reads for two hours, we'll call it a done thing. Read that. It is 223. You have to read until 423. All right. Well, you haven't started with 430. Oh, they're all getting phone calls. Now who died? Roy, would you? Somebody or other. Roy. Last generation, these kids would not know them at all. That is Tasha's brother so there's a reason for her to be sad there's not a reason for everybody else to be sad including the infants really he died from death by cow plant wow okay that's one way to go you've done that you don't have to do that anymore sweetheart put it down and leave it be go take your shower somebody in there no go ahead One of these babies is always crying. We can age them up on Sunday. I'm going to have you play some chess. Oh, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Really? Well, you're fine. Why won't you play chess? You don't need fun. Play chess. It's what you... Play with mom, then. It's a level 5 mental skill. Will you observe the sky, then? Okay. That's not mental skill? Oh, yeah, it is. She's level 3 already. Okay, that's good. I don't know why it's not. Oh, ding. She's level three. It should say three out of five. Um, all right. Well, everybody's gone to school. It's not any hard because that's what you do. The weekend's coming. We're going to work on getting the teen aged up and out of here. Super efficient baby care. Why are you so... Oh, you're just sad because your brother. Okay. I'm going to allow you to be sad. We have a different maid. We have Corey Hearn. If they're baby daddy, they can't be a maid. Interesting to note. And then, why don't you come out and play some Blick Block? That would be fun. We're going to do a Super Cell. Doesn't help her fun very much. Go swimming. See if that helps you fun. <laughs> no, Mom, I don't need an extra roll of toilet paper. Thanks for asking. Travis Scott has died of old age. That makes sense. Can't get her fun up. It's ridiculous how low it is. Like, it says it's going up, but it's not. All right, kids are home. You need a nap. Let's give all of them a nap, whether they need it or not. Max Villarreal is calling. Oh, yeah, you are my dad, aren't you? Nope, can't do it. So you call mom? We're moving out. Okay. You're uncomfortable because you're overwhelmed from an emotional breakdown. Oh, you poor dear. Quinn has finished her homework for the day. She wants to talk about school with three children. So let's have her come talk about school. With him. Three different sims. All right, how about you? I talk about school. And talk about school with your sister. All she has to do is brag about grades three times. My grades are so good. Brag about grades. 
Look at her miss responsibility. All right, her aspiration is done and she's an A student, can be aged up. We need to send you off to trade void critters. So let's do that now. See if any kids spawn in. The last time we tried this, only teenagers were here. An adult. Okay, at night, nobody comes here but teenagers. So we'll send him home, come back tomorrow during the day. I'm gonna send her to Moon Gaze to get her skill up. When we're done, we're going to do some experimenting on the potion table. You need a partner in crime. I mean, Quinn is your best bet. Social levels up. Ask if Moon is a banana. Yeah, let's do that. Let's monkey around. Ask to stargaze. Become partners in crime. You don't need to stargaze. Just become partners in crime. Plan a prank. Oh, we can do that. They can now plan pranks together and unleash their inner mischief. Unleash the gerbils. Yeah, milestone complete. Now we have to hug a sibling lovingly five times. Swing with a sibling. Watch a movie. Play a game. All right, so let's hug lovingly. And then let's play cards with Quinn. You're fine. Let's send you and Stuart to the park. I hope there'll be some kids here. I should have brought cash. All right, so you are going to go play pirate a hundred times. And you are going to look for children. Oh, he's not he's a teen now. Oh, that makes sense. So we don't know any children at all. It's level 9 motor. That's good. Who are you? You're a child. Alexandro Richie woke Rocco. Paulo Rocco had Jackie and Kason. I'm assuming one of them, Darling Widju Roko and Vladist Vlad's okay. Um, is this a vampire? Well, I'm going to introduce myself to you with a funny introduction. And then, now that I know you, I'm going to ask to trade void critters. Okay, thank you. Oh, can we do it again? We can. So I'm going to queue it up a few times and see how many we get. Yeah, your thing is full. You need to keep playing pirate. Beautiful. Oh, okay, I think he's saying no now. He's bored with void critters. Yeah, he's bored with void critters. Oh, here's a child. Ronan, give you a funny introduction. Oh, there's another one. Felicity, would you Reinhardt? Ah, child of Reinhardt. Maybe either Angelo or Bryson interesting to see like i wish sims would give me a complete family tree that would be amazing funny introduction to you and katie charm also to you who are you i'm just making friends with everybody I'm getting to know some people all right you i would like to ask to trade void critters nelson colette funny introduction introduce yourself meanwhile your brother Stuart is still working on that skill. He's going to run to pee. It's fine. Burning to death. Why are you burning to death? Go, go pee. You'll be fine, right? There you go. And after you pee, we'll have you change your clothes into your summer clothes. And who is this child? Gileana Bailey. Give her a friendly introduction. And asked to trade void critters and then who are you gretchen sigworth this child's going to know all of the other children in the neighborhood friendly asked to trade void critters and then can you friendly ask to trade void critters with her uh-oh alejandro why are you even out here at the park don't know oh shoot grim's like mm, alejandro Ridge Roko has passed. I mean, fair enough. Some vampires. Asked to trade void critters. That's 11. Now nah, she's leaving me. Who this? Mila Chopra. Oh, good. That's 12. Asked to trade void critters. By the way, how's my brother doing? He's very uncomfortable because he's tired. What's his skill doing, though? Nine and a half. All right. I'm going to go ahead and send him. I'm going to send him home. At 14. Okay, we're at 16, we're at 17, 18, 19, 
Aspiration achieved. Nice. All right, now we can send him home. All right, so she's all set. Rise is all set. You need to get a little more motor skill, and then we're aging you up. So after you eat, we're going to play pirate until you get that skill. All right, next group. Level. Okay, you need to have you done your homework. I want you to get focused. Can you ponder moves? Pondering moves to get focused. Don't be fine. You are focused. Can you do extra credit? I don't know if that will count. You needs to hug a sub sibling lovingly and then watch a movie with anybody who wants to. All right, when you're done with that, we'll have you us to swing with twin. All right, what's left? Hug a sibling lovingly three times. Can I hug you lovingly? And then we'll hug lovingly rise. How's that skill coming, son? Motor, 66%. You got this. Can I get, can I get another hug? How's mom? Mom's in the shower. Good. Mom's taking a bath. She deserves it. She works hard. Queen is ready to be aged up. You're ready to be aged up. You are working on it. 76% doing more playing of pirates. Hey, Mom, do we have a cake? We do. He's got to pee. Yeah, go pee. Take a shower and then come play pirate a couple more times. It should be enough. Come on, Stuart. Get that skill. 91%. Right, yeah, I'm going to have you come make a wish because your brother's almost ready. Okay, Child of Fall. Hey, the outdoors. Green Fiend. Author. Space lover. We could do author or we could do something with space. Like an aspiration. Let's do creativity. Author. Rise. Can you come add birthday candles and come make a wish? Stuart has done level 10 of his aspiration. So he is an art lover, hates the outdoors. He's not creative. He's a tinkerer and a makeup lover. We have to do something in Creative Sim with him. Is there anything about these with handiness? Here we go. Master Handyman or Woman. Uh, could you add birthday candles and then make a wish? All right. So we have a movie lover. Hates the outdoors. Movie buff. Needs no one. Survivor. He's a movie buff and he loves movies. Let's make him, yes, definitely an actor. Very nice. They are done. Let's bring them in. Give them a makeover. All right, let's start with Quinn. Her favorite colors are blue and gray. Rye's favorite colors are purple and green. I tried to incorporate both of those. And also his love of, of makeup. And then we have Stuart, who likes gray and black. He's a little bit fancy sometimes, but always stylish. When he wants to write books and write for an hour while inspired, we will work on that. Actually, we can do that today. Her homework will be for writing. That will help her get a writing skill. Your homework should be handiness, which is not an option. You can just do homework. And your homework should be in acting. You want to craft emotion potion so keep experimenting and you want to hug siblings nobody's available to hug right now do extra credit homework mom sent me a little money a little spending money that's nice mama i'd like to hug you lovingly please oh that's nice all right let's try hugging you milestone complete now we need to become best friends be friendly Give a friendly or funny gift. All right. Well, let me give you a gift. Give a friendly gift of this summer craft. Very nice. And now we just need to become best friends. There we go. Become best friends. He has completed his aspiration. She needs to get another A at school. Craft three potions and achieve a level 10 mental. I mean, her needs are fine. Let's have her get inspired. Take a thoughtful shower. You are inspired. Which one of these is the fixer? You. Please come repair this. 
Mom is going to super efficient baby care. This screaming little worm. Are you done? Oh, good. That means she can write. Write two books. So we're going to write a children's book. You're going to practice acting. It's prank day. I don't think we care. She's writing. He needs to read a handiness book. Do we have a handiness book? Let's buy one. Try not to die. All right, I want you to read that. I would like for you to get up and take a shower, please. And then craft some more potions. All right, we are going to have mom age up babies and whatnot. Ulysses, let's do a super efficient baby care. And then we'll age up Ulysses. Okay, so we have imaginative, quick learner, difficult temperament. I would like to potty train Ulysses. She's not inspired anymore. She's focused. Darn it. How about just go to the bathroom and sleep? You're almost level two. Mom, can you super efficient baby care? And then age up Yusin. Yusin will be angelic, inquisitive, and plucky. Let's potty train Yusin. And then get some food, Mom. Well, handiness level two. That's great. We're going to bring babies in to create some. Here are Ulysses' outfits. Here are Yusun's outfits. I'm changing Yusun to Yolanda. Because she might be the heir and I'm not having a Yusun heir. We'll have a Yolanda heir. That'll be fine. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There are two new videos down below that you can watch. Leave a comment if you'd like. I usually do reply. Hit the like button to share it on your Twitter. I can be found on Twitter and also on Twitch. And above all, have a really great day. Bye-bye.